Okay, my friends, we are going to uh, we're going to discuss how to defend collar chokes from the back. So there's all sorts of of, of uh, chokes, but they're all you know ways of setting it up. But uh, as far as defending them, it really comes down to um, which particular choke you're stuck in, and um, kind of understanding the mechanics of the actual choke. So we're going to talk about the standard collar choke here, where she gets a good deep bite in the collar here. Now the second hand, the weak side arm is going to come over here and grab the far side collar, she takes this, the slack out, and now she stretches her arms. It's a very tight choke, okay? Now, the mistake that most people make when they defend their neck is they, 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 they want to, they try to just grab the arms, right, um, up right, right where their neck is, okay? The problem with that is that's not really taken into consideration of how the choke actually works, okay? Um, that's where I feel the pain, that's where I feel the, the choke itself, but we have to understand the mechanism here. Once she gets a grip in the collar here, this is very difficult for me to break a grip. I wanna be able to stop this hand from getting in the collar in the first place. So if she's, rewind a little bit, if we're here like this, she's, she's not gonna choke through my hand, she's gonna come inside. So if she gets inside, I can grab her hand here, right over the thumb, but if she gets the hand in the collar, now I have to defend this choke a different way, okay? This is going to be too hard for me to break this grip. Now, what I do is I, use leverage, so I'm gonna reach up here, okay? I'm gonna hold the elbow, and I'm gonna reach up at the, the, the near side arm here and grab the shoulder. She wants to extend this to finish the choke, okay? So once she gets this hand in place, I'm stuck pretty bad, okay? This is not going to last very long. My own hand at this point is gonna choke my neck, all right? So I'm gonna come here and here, because she wants to extend that arm to finish, and I'm gonna hold, and then when she goes to start to, to stretch for the choke, I'm gonna slide my, my hips down, digging my heels into the floor. I'm gonna look back at her, okay? And I'm gonna pull this over my head and my head slides right up underneath the armpit, okay? So, let's turn this way a little bit. Once again, okay, once I recognize I was too late, she got the hand on the collar, I have to come here right away, okay? Because she's not that far away from stretching and finishing the choke. So I need to get here immediately. So I reach up here as high as I can on the shoulder. I grab the elbow, just the pile of ghee right there on the elbow. And as she starts to stretch, that's my time. I slide, I look back at her, my head comes right out. Okay, so now I know most of you are thinking, yeah, but that's kind of an old school choke. Most people do the bow and arrow now. Now, I'm kind of an old school kind of fan. I actually appreciate that choke better than the bow and arrow. Uh, and here's why. Um, and I feel like I'm in good company because not too long ago, Haja Gracie used that old standard choke to finish one of the best in the world, Buchecha. And uh, so it's harder, I think, to defend the choke that we just did than it is the bow and arrow. So bow and arrow, we have a couple different options here. Now, the bow and arrow takes into consideration I wanna do this. And she spins, if I lose it, ah, too late. That, she's closed off that space, I'm not gonna be able to escape the same way. So when she spins around here, like this, right here is a problem, okay? Now she trapped over my arm, that was really smart. I don't want that to happen if I can, all right? But if she does, all right, we can still work with this. Now she's holding on to the pants. Most people hold onto the pants because she's gonna let, if, if, she, if she lets go or she loses this grip, I'm gonna roll out, okay? Or actually, even if she doesn't hold on to the grip, I can still roll out. I'll show you. I break the grip, now I can roll here. Now, if that's not available to you, it's too tight here, all right, and she's got, and it's very close, this is a last ditch effort sort of thing, okay? It's not gonna work as your first go-to. Remember we said earlier, if the hand's relaxed, it's gonna be hard for me to break this grip, okay? She's got a good control. Now, she puts tension, do the choke. Go, 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 boom. Okay, last ditch effort, that's all you got left. When it gets really tight, the tighter the banjo string, the easier it breaks, okay? So when there's not that much tension and she's got a good grip here, hold, get a good, there we go, right there. This is gonna be hard for me to grip, rip out of, her, uh, out of her hands. But when she starts to put the choking pressure on, go, go. Okay, I got one chance. I grab both hands on my lapel, boom, and I straighten it down. So, early prevention is key. Don't let, don't let them get your collar. But we all know, sometimes it happens and you've gotta have answers for those situations. So hopefully that's helpful. Like, subscribe, comment if you have any other questions or anything like that. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Thank you.